Uh, who are you ladies and what do you do? I am Sylvia Soska. I'm Jen Soska. If you're not sure how to tell us apart, uh, I have a slightly deeper voice because I used to date Jack Daniels. They're still together. We, we hook up every <laughs> once in a while. I also have fame. <laughs> And I have a birthmark that I draw on darker uh, here and here. So you have a chance in hell of getting us apart. Yeah. And I'm also, like, she dresses slightly sluttier. Sluttier Sylvia. If it's a skirt and you're like, that's way too short, it's probably Sylvia. Probably. Uh, <laughs> we're the Saska sisters or the Twisted Twins. Why do they call us up? Because we make horror movies. Uh, we have for the last 17 years. We're writer, director, producers. Our first film was a film called Dead Hook and Trunk which is a grindhouse indie classic. Jen came up with the title. The title got us a lot of popularity, but the film was kind of rough. And they're like, you guys can't keep doing this. So we came back with a movie about medical uh, underground uh, body modification. And we called it American Mary. And it was very popular. After that, we worked for WWE Studios. We made two movies, See No Evil 2 and Vendetta. And we also uh, hosted a game show called Elevator for two seasons. If you ever wondered what uh, Saw would have been like if 2L Virus hosted it as a game show, that was it. You can still Ooh, find it on YouTube. That's yeah, so cool. Yeah. We would throw bugs at you and yeah. maybe you would survive. <laughs> it was the best job. Yeah, um, and we remade a Cronenberg film, uh, Rabid, and we did a sequel to Night of the Living Dead called Festival of the Living Dead. And if you're a comic book fan, we are the top comic book writers in North America with Yara right now. Thanks to our boss, Eric July. <laughs> Before that, we worked for Marvel. We wrote a bunch of short stories until they gave us a Black Widow story called No Restraints Play, where we had her kill pedophiles, which was the feel-good story of the summer. <laughs> yeah, it also lost us our job, but it was fucking worth it. <laughs> our bad, we didn't know. We didn't We didn't read the room quite right. Yeah, we also <laughs> wrote a Wonder Woman story for DC, and if you're thinking, hey, I never read that story, it's cool. It was never released. But maybe, <laughs> maybe now that we're so popular in our other things. I got a sneaking suspicion in the next year it'll be released. Oh yeah, and we did the ABCs of Death. Uh, Two, our segment was Tease for Torture Porn. If you're under 18, don't Google it. But if you're cool, <laughs> you're terrible. All our movies. Yeah, they're all for free on Tubi. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm looking at your website right now. So right over here. And uh, yeah, I was looking at the projects that you did. Like you, you, you ladies got an extensive background. Like also, you guys yeah. have an IMDb page. And I'm like, oh, this is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, this this is amazing. You guys did a lot of work. So what was this twin pool? What is this down over here? Oh, <laughs> that was um, they when they didn't have a director for uh, Deadpool 2, we thought, hell, why don't we uh, we don't go out for it? We tried it, for Deadpool 1. It started at Deadpool 1. Okay, so See No Evil 2 made so much money and it was super popular. And we had our big Hollywood moment and we got called to the boss's office and they're like, yeah, they gave us the whole spiel of you can do anything you want. Any now. movie you girls anything, want, you name, you name it, it, it's yours. And Jen and I look at each other and we go, Deadpool. Deadpool. And then he goes over <laughs> to a pile of scripts and he takes Deadpool and he hands it to us. And we're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, it's happening. And we're like, what's this? And he's like, this is a script for Deadpool. And we're like, can we make it? And they go, no, girls, no one's ever going to make this piece of shit, but please read the script. And we said, sir, <laughs> with all due respect, this could be the worst script you've ever read, but this is the most popular character in the world. This is going to be a hit. And it was. And we didn't get hired to do it, but And that's then they fine. lost their director for Deadpool 2, so we were like, okay, they say we can't do superhero stuff. We grew up on superheroes. I read Deadpool in the 90s when he was first birthed. Yeah, he was my boy. And our, they also looked at our resume. They said, there's not enough Deadpool on here. Deadpool is Sean Vancouver. <laughs> So we got the cast, the crew, uh, the locations, the and makeup artist, the armorer. Uh, say, yeah, we got everything that they had and we got it for next to nothing. And then we also were working for Marvel at the time. We're like, hey, how come there's sometimes Deadpool stuff, but you y'all don't sue them? What's that? And they're like, well, if it's for charity, we won't sue. So it was a blood drive where it was twin oh. pools, <laughs> two dead pools that fought each other. And we sent it out and it got all the way to Ryan Reynolds' agent and we were not hired. But you yeah. know, we got, we got, we got <laughs> rejected. So he said no. So that's, that's close enough. <laughs> but yeah, it was our, it was our last, uh, our last ditch effort. Uh, I think that we have a big message from Marvel that is no thank you. I, we, Deadpool <laughs> 4. That's when it is. When the maybe Deadpool six, when the property, they're like, who wants this piece of shit? We'll be like, us. 
We want it. I'll do Deadpool four if Deadpool three bombs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think I think I, I will say though what that there is Ooh, one really? community that acknowledges our Deadpool expertise. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, and so that is the adult film industry. We actually co-wrote Deadpool, the triple X porn parody yeah. directed by the great Axel Braun. Okay, and no spoilers, but you know how Deadpool's self-aware? <laughs> so Deadpool is self-aware that he's so popular, he's getting an Axel Braun porn. So he's mm -hmm. like, oh my God, I'm gonna get laid. Uh, the joke <laughs> is really hard for him to get laid even in his own porn. Hilarious. So many people would watch and be like, I forgot it was a porn. It was so much fun. So, And I'm sure you're watching and saying, hey, I'd like to write porn. Well, the way that you write a porno is you don't actually write the sex. No. The actors come up with it. So you write a comedy and then you say they have sex and then they have sex and, and then they have sex and then they have sex. And then they have sex. Pretty easy. It was a great. It was a great twenty-four page script. And write that down, chat. Write, write, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Clip it. Write it down. <laughs> write it down. There's a, there's a joke about the Punisher that is particularly saucy that I enjoy. Yeah, and it won like forty-seven awards. So I feel like I feel like when they're looking for Deadpool directors, they're like, who won awards? <laughs> the Sauskas. Yeah. Oh. So Speaking of saucy, I believe we got raided by Wicked, a virtue. Oh, so saucy, oh, raid. Oh, oh, I love yo. Her. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank uh, you for the raid, uh, Wicked. Thank you, thank you. And we have Fear the Beardles hanging out in the chat. Oh, oh. Oh. This is Hail Chat and Egg Roll and the Saskas. Oh. Yo, Hail Beardo. Hail Beardo. Hey, handsome, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it's uh, that that's pretty cool. So so. When you say Axel, I'm like, I think I know who you're talking. Yeah, Axel, Axel Braun. Braun, he's a friend of ours. <laughs> he's the greatest. Yeah. Porn well, he's the he's an amazing cinematographer and yeah. director. He just happens to make erotica, which is just dubbed unfairly porn, but he really makes art films with sex in them. It's very true. And what most people don't know is his dad actually invented porn. Like the distribution really? yeah mm -hmm. and he's actually writing a book about it and we've begged him to let us turn it into a tv series which we're hoping to do once the book comes out so it's kind of like the people versus larry flint meets uh breaking bad and it's just a bunch of art house european porn things and yeah it's a really cute story i know it sounds like it would be dirty but it it's was... a beautiful father-son it's a beautiful father-son <laughs> story <laughs> called the king of porn yeah could you imagine if you're like who's my dad it's this guy and he invented <laughs> Porn. Wait, what? <laughs> Best teenagehood ever. <laughs> yeah, that that's actually really cool. So uh, now uh, I wanted to ask, how did you get in touch with Ripa and start doing uh, like, Lyra stuff? Well, uh, there is a other friend of ours that had picked up our No Restraints player, Black Widow story. Yeah. Uh, it was Trinity at Second Street Marvel. Yeah, I love him. And he sent the book to Eric. And uh, at that time, <clears throat> there was a new wave of writer coming into Marvel in DC that yeah. was disappointing fans. And most of those people were women. <laughs> and uh, wow. Eric got the book thinking, oh, here's, here's another thing that I'm just going to laugh at. Loved it. Yeah. He loved it. And uh, and we love that he reviewed it because we're such Marvel nerds. We wrote it for people who have been reading the comic forever. And so the fact that he liked it, it was like, you know, somebody who knew his shit liked her book. Oh, yeah. In fact, we were, uh, because Marvel uh, was very standards and practices got on to what we were up to as of issue two we got in trouble we got we i never knew that they had standards and practices but i became very well acquainted oh, with them okay it was Jen, okay it's jen's fault because in book two <laughs> we we thought nobody would care but she, so nat finds some pedophiles and she's trying to find out where their base is she, so she beats the shit out of them cuts off some of their limbs so that, that we got away with but then when she tied them to a car and drove the car through magipore and then she set them on fire <laughs> and said she too likes to play with no strength. but she's russian she was drinking a <laughs> bottle of vodka and then she smashed it on them and she set them on fire and they're like she's not the punisher and i'm like yeah she's kgb she's worse she's worse yeah <laughs> they, said no. they said no one's allowed to beg for their life with natasha she not even to show some mercy not even pedophiles they're like you're killing all our friends you can't do this <laughs> so <laughs> Time, uh, we were still writing it, so we were, started to write it 
for Eric's enjoyment. So yeah, we did because like, he would review each book and we're like, this guy loved it. So we got to wow him. We got to get past standards and practices. We got to do it for Eric. He'll get it. He'll enjoy it. <laughs> and so he did. And he he really loved every every one of them as they came out. And it made us feel so happy and fulfilled when we were actually hired on with Marvel. They said we'd be the ongoing writers for Black Widow. After she killed those pedophiles, she was going to go after the people funding them. Oh, oh gonna be, she was going to go to Hollywood. Awesome. It was going to be great. Oh, gonna... oh, yeah. She was going to go through the church, through Hollywood. Oh, it was going to... Through politicians. Oh, very, very satisfying. Yeah, but, but then they... Yeah. That would have been great. It's like they, yes! sal they salted the earth after we did our Black Widow. They relaunched her like five times. They're like, please... Don't read that one. Yeah. And just pretend it. Marco <laughs> doesn't officially hire you. You just keep sending emails and they stop answering them. Yeah. And paying you. I actually never got any of my back end for Black Widow. Cough, cough. Hi, Marvel. Hi, Marvel. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same account as Sylvia. What the hell? Anyways, maybe this is why they didn't give us Deadpool. Yeah, but that maybe. we became fast friends with Eric, and then we did like a stream, and we talked about Black Widow, and he was awesome. Yeah, and we just had a huge smile fest and a geek fest, and I thought he was awesome. And then we just casually continued watching Eric. We're like, this guy's pretty based. I like him. And then he started releasing his whole ISOM thing, and we're like, whoa. That's so cool. Eric's doing comics now? That's crazy. When it started, I was like, oh, God, please let him make his $100,000 mark. That would just be wonderful. Yeah. And then, like, $3.7 <laughs> million dollars later, I'm like, God, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then and then we started seeing Yaira, and they're like, this Yaira person outsold ISOM for posters. And Jen was like, I'm going to be so jealous that it's not me. And I was like, no, we'll be happy. And then he messaged us and was like, do you want to write her? And we're like, yeah of course he said i don't know if you have time but i told eric what i told marvel i don't care about making movies i love comic books if I, <laughs> I always thought that i would end up working for marvel or dc yeah. full time and i was hired on full time for both of them and i don't work there anymore but eric meant it when he hired us on for full time oh my gosh and we've just been writing like crazy like we got blood ruth after that i can't tell you the other things that were hired on for writing but we it's like all of your nerdism has a place at the Ripiverse because Jen and I are the lore masters. So we read every script and we get to like categorize all the characters and we talk to the all the different writers being like, hey, did you forget the police chief's name? Like it's just <laughs> dark shit that we're all about. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.